She listened attentively, and that's when she discerned the source of the cries. Uncertain about her next steps, she positioned herself in front of her living room wall and retrieved a hammer. With resolute determination, she began to make a hole in the wall. As she reached inside to investigate, her astonishment grew with each passing moment. One day, a mother returned home after a long day, only to be greeted by faint, distinct cries. Perplexed, she embarked on a quest through her home, searching for the elusive source of the sounds. However, her efforts proved fruitless as she struggled to pinpoint the origin of the mysterious cries. She wondered if perhaps her busy day had played tricks on her mind. Resigned to the uncertainty, she headed to the kitchen to prepare dinner, but the cries persisted. With each repetition, the cries became more undeniable. As a mother herself, she recognized the unmistakable sound of distress. These cries, however, were far from ordinary, their pitch was higher, and they were fleeting. She embarked on a thorough exploration of her home, determined to uncover the origin of these peculiar cries. Little did she know that the answer was right before her eyes. The cries grew louder, prompting her to initiate a frantic search. She was certain that whatever was crying must be in distress or danger. She ventured into adjacent rooms from the kitchen, straining to identify the source of the cries. Yet, she encountered nothing but silence. The cries seemed to have vanished. Then as she remained as still as possible, one solitary cry reached her ears, pinpointing the source. She found herself standing before her living room wall, with a television hanging to the left of where the cries emanated. Determined to confirm their origin, she pondered her next steps, wary of the possibility of a colossal mistake. She called her children and inquired if they too could hear something behind the wall, unknowingly heralding the beginning of a remarkable adventure. Her children gathered around, attempting to listen for the cries, but an eerie quietness pervaded the air. They exchanged glances, regarding their mother with a mixture of confusion and skepticism, for they could not discern any noise, let alone cries. Her eyes widened, her thoughts racing to connect the dots, yet silence persisted. Could this all be a product of her imagination? As the children began to retreat to their rooms, a faint cry emanated from behind the wall. There, did you hear it? The mother exclaimed, taken aback. Her children exchanged glances once more, nodding their heads, and rushed back to their positions, convinced that something was indeed trapped within the wall. But what could it be? The mother instructed someone to fetch a hammer, determined to help whatever was stuck in there find its way to safety. Knocking on different sections of the wall with her knuckles, she discerned the weakest point to strike. Unbeknownst to her, the wall's vulnerability lay precisely where the cries had originated. She urged everyone to stand back, poised to break through her drywall, and create a hole large enough for her arm to fit through. As she swung the hammer, the cries grew increasingly fervent. With the hole now gaping, the mother reached her hand inside, plunging it deep within the wall. Yet, as she felt around, she was left utterly speechless. Chunks of drywall crumbled around her, but amid the debris, she sensed something different. Carefully, she seized hold of the object and pulled it out, only to find a handful of insulation, dirt, and drywall. The cries grew more distinct, and she knew she was getting closer. Clearing a path through the dirt, she continued to reach inside the wall, unaware that a remarkable discovery awaited her. With utmost care, she explored the interior of the wall, her hand encountering something small and fuzzy. Initially, she assumed it to be insulation as before, but as she withdrew her hand cradling the object, her bewilderment knew no bounds. She had retrieved a small white kitten from the hole. In that very moment, she realized that there were more and she had to rescue them all. Gently, the mother placed the first white kitten on the floor and immediately delved back into the hole to retrieve more. She continued to excavate, piling dirt and drywall on her living room floor, making way for the trapped kittens. She soon grasped another moving presence inside the wall and exclaimed, here comes another one, as she pulled out a gray kitten. Bending down to place the second kitten on the floor, she called out, Bub. 
I need that basket, and enlisted the assistance of Aunt Dottie, urging her to come and help. With unwavering determination, the mother returned to the hole, tearing away drywall as she searched for more kittens. The question remained, how many were concealed within the wall? After several minutes of relentless searching and collecting more dirt and drywall, she succeeded in retrieving the third kitten. A black and white feline tumbled out of the hole. She couldn't believe that these little ones had been living inside her wall, and she remained uncertain if there were more. Placing the third kitten on the floor, she resumed her quest, plunging her hand back into the hole in search of additional kittens. Oh, you're scrawny, Aunt Dottie remarked in the background. So lightweight, she added. As the mother continued her search inside the hole, she called out, here, come here. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. With the assistance of the cameraman who had been filming the entire process, they carried out the rescue operation, although the video was abruptly cut off. Nevertheless, one thing was clear, all the kittens were in safe hands. It's not uncommon for expectant mother cats to seek out a safe, dry location for their kittens, and this little family couldn't have chosen a better place than behind that wall.